Douglas, and I'm here to present to you a brief SWOT analysis of, well, myself. In today's fierce job market, it is important to have a good understanding of your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Only through this keen awareness are we able to present ourselves to future employers. Allow me to start with my strengths. Through a process of brainstorming and discovery, I was able to break down my strengths into seven categories. First of all, I have superior academic achievement. In my undergraduate studies here at Western Wesleyan College in criminal justice, I was able to maintain a 3.97 GPA as well as being nominated for a Fulbright scholarship and being inducted into Phi Kappa Phi and Omicron Delta Kappa. Also, in my MBA studies here, I have maintained a 3.92 GPA as well as I'm going to graduate in May of 2011. Secondly, I have competitive work experience. For the past three years, I've worked for the United States Secret Service in Laurel, Maryland, where I've worked for the training center and have worked alongside agents and uniform division officers, as well as our administrative support staff, and I've learned quite a few things. At Western Virginia Wesleyan College, I've worked as an assistant coordinator, otherwise known as a building director, in managing a team of RAs and managing over 100 individuals each and every day. Thirdly, I was able to make, I was able to have a competitive internship with Dr. David McCauley here at Western Virginia Wesleyan College, who is the city attorney for the city of Buchanan. There, I learned quite a few things about the legal department here at Western Virginia Wesleyan and for the city of Buchanan. Thirdly, I have extensive leadership skills. Before I came to Western Virginia Wesleyan College, I was awarded the Eagle Scout Award for the Boy Scouts of America. It takes several years to earn this award and took quite a few leadership activities and positions. Also, again in, this, in the role of an assistant coordinator, I also have to manage a whole team of resident assistants who, where I plan, organize, and implement many directives given to me by my superiors. Fourth, I have intrinsic motivation. Instead of only working for rewards, I'm willing to work hard just for the learning and the ability to do something. An example of this is I self-taught myself how to edit video and how to use special effects and all the use of codecs in video quality. Fifth, I'm a well-rounded individual. As you can see, I have knowledge in business, criminal justice, and in my minor in history. This gives me a large area of uh, expertise and knowledge to rely on, and I can use it to my advantage. Sixth, I've written in oral communication skills. At Wesleyan, I've taken many oral communication skills as well as written papers in almost every single one of my classes. Last semester alone, I wrote two 25-page paper reports on Target Corporation and for my senior thesis on exonerations. Seventh and finally, I have computer skills. I am proficient in MS Office, Sony Vegas, Adobe After Effects, and many Windows programs. This combined is a great use of strengths. Although no one likes to admit their weaknesses, I know there are a few areas that I can still work on. First of all, when it comes to stress, I know that I overextend myself too many times and get involved with too many organizations. This is not a good thing as stress can lead to long-term health consequences and I'm trying to avoid that especially starting in my last year here at Wesleyan by only participating in the organizations that I need to and exerting my full effort on those certain organizations. Secondly, I'm not the best test taker when it comes to standardized testing. Although I did decent on the GMAT with a score of 580, often do not excel at tests like the SAT. Third, when it comes to regional mobility, when I do land that dream job and start my career, I'm not going to want to move around all over the country to follow my job. I'm a, I'm a family man at heart, and I know that whenever I do start a family, I don't want to uproot them to follow my job. Finally, I don't have long-term work experience in my field. I know that a lot of employers, especially today, are looking for those who have at least a year or more in the current field that they're looking to have a job in. Unfortunately, I'm coming right out of college and I don't have that work experience, but I'm willing to try. Now let's move on to my external opportunities. First of all, the geographical region where I'm from, Washington, D.C., is ripe with opportunity. There are a lot of government agencies, private firms, and local companies that are hiring right now, and there's a lot of opportunity to be had there. Secondly, I have an outstanding reference list of past supervisors, United States Secret Service personnel, and professors that are willing to vouch for me, per se. Third, 
I have multiple career paths to choose from. I can either tackle a career as a federal agent for a federal law enforcement agency, or I can embrace my business side and work for a private firm or a government agency in their business sector. Finally, I have an impeccable background. For most government agencies and private firms, you have to maintain a clearance. And for the United States Secret Service, I have to maintain a top secret clearance, and I'm willing and able to do that in the future. Finally, to address my threats, I have come up with three things that I must take into account. Firstly, due to directives such as affirmative action, it is becoming increasingly more difficult for white males such as myself that are highly qualified for positions to receive those positions. Secondly, there is a negative job market due to the recession. It discourages the newcomers and actually increases the worth of capital investments and human investments such as education and technology. Finally, there are drastically changing government regulations. President Obama recently signed an executive word which freezes within grade pay increases for the next two years for federal employees. It also discourages agencies from hiring newcomers and new entrants into the workforce and encourages them to hiring those that were laid off recently in the recession. I want to thank you for taking the time to review my SWOT analysis and I hope that you got as much from it as I did. My name is Garrett Douglas and this is my SWOT analysis.